Summer 2019 Test Realm is here and I wanted to go ahead and show you guys the notes and go through it because there's a lot of things in this Test Realm that are not actually in the Test Realm yet. And that's because they come in the form of these events, which they're adding more of these. Of course, we're getting more Decathlon, but they're also adding uh, some other new ones. So we'll be looking at that. Okay, here we go. So Sizzling Summer Update is now on Test Realm. Basically, this is a paragraph of what <laughs> the, uh, the bullet points down here say. And I feel like bullet points are easy to read, so we're just going to look at this. So Wizard City Revamp is completed. This is Crab Alley, which a lot of people knew this was coming out because that's the only area that they haven't updated yet in Wizard City. So that is uh, now in the game, well, at least in Test Realm. A lot of people think that areas like Darkmoor and Aquila are part of Wizard City, and they were confused as to why they weren't free during the free weekend, and they're not a part of Wizard City at all. Yes, you access them through Wizard City, but they're not in the world of Wizard City, right? So Aquila is the world Aquila, Darkmoor is the world Darkmoor. You just kind of get teleported to those places through Wizard City, so... Want to kind of clear that up for people that were confused during the weekend, the free weekend. The other thing, first time user experience. This is uh, going to be talked about a little bit later, but it's basically making the, uh, the like the first time you play the game, first time you make a character, make it kind of easier to understand things as you go through Unicorn Way. So we'll take a look at that. Advanced Quick Sell, that's good. And then more Decathlons. They've also got a couple new events that are going to be happening. Spiral Showcase beast moon hunt and scroll of fortune so these are all new things that are going to be added into test realm very soon or coming soon or whatever so we'll have to wait and see on these ones but at least we can get kind of a slight idea of what it's going to be like in the update notes so crab alley's updated i will be doing a video probably my next video will be on crab alley just going through it showing you guys what it looks like i briefly went to crab alley and just stood by herman and looked at it and uh, it looks way better so i will be showing that in a video because uh crab alley I don't know, I never really liked Crab Alley that much, but I feel like maybe with this revamp, I'll actually want to go down there. The only reason I would go down there is for Waterworks, that was it. I wouldn't actually do Crab Alley, but it looks a lot better, trust me. We'll be taking a look at it. First time user experience. This is the updating of the early part of the game, like really early, Unicorn way early, where they're making the experience a little bit easier to understand for new players. I will be doing a video on this, just kind of going through it. I'll create a new character on Test Realm and just run through it to see what it's like, because I want to experience it. I want to see what wizard is teaching to a new player on how to play the game maybe make it a little bit easier to understand so we'll be taking a look at that i'm not going to read through all this we'll actually do a video on it uh they also moved a couple npcs they moved lincoln they moved mitchell lincoln from golem court to ravenwood so that was a interesting move but and then i think they have a new quest as well i think there's a new quest we'll have to take a look at that when i actually do the video but i think they added a new quest which probably is what teaches you to do this i'm guessing uh improved quick sell you can now quick sell crowns items but it will say are you sure you want to quick sell this crown item because uh well you might not want to quick sell it so you can do that and then there's also this little window that comes up telling you everything that you're going to sell and then the total number and gold and everything like that so that is new they updated quick sell uh harold is now selling a lot more tcs I don't think they made the change where they removed the enchants yet. I don't think that's in this test room. I'm not sure. But they did give him Balance Blade, Nature's Wrath, Sandstorm, Blizzard. Blizzard's going to be good for the Fire Decathlon. Uh, Stormzilla Hex and School Traps. So that is really good. Balance Blade is a super good one to have just to be bought from a vendor. So I like this change. And that'll also help with the Decathlons. So I think that's another reason that they did this was... Make it easier for people to buy the TCs that they need for the decathlon right from Herald. Because that's where it is. So that's a good change. They also have some miscellaneous things. I don't think there's anything really crazy. I mean, Medulla increasing his damage. Or actually, no. <laughs> Never mind. I thought it said increased. Medulla's damage has been decreased by 10%. Never mind. We got to make the Medulla fight even easier because it's already way too hard. I think he has 40k health now. You can basically one-shot Medulla with a storm. And that's it. So Medulla is continuing to, to get nerfed, and now he's down 10% damage. Okay. I honestly thought it said increased when I first read this. Nope. Medulla is nerfed again. So there's that. Here's the interesting thing. They added a Beast Moon Hunt event. So I'm going to read through this one because I actually don't really know 
100% what it is yet. I'm gonna have to learn too. But welcome to the new Battlegrounds Wizards. The Beast Moon Hunt is a new team-based goal-oriented event designed to bring wizards together in a fun and friendly competitive event. Teams of four to eight wizards face each other in a classic contest of domination. Each team gains points by defeating opponents and capturing and holding battle rings in the arena. There's an arena. Look at this. There's like a little mini map here. We have a mini map. We have some... I don't even know what this is going on up here. We have like all the schools. And the schools are like pointing at other schools. And bounces in the middle. Oh, does this mean like... No, it's not the opposite schools. I mean, death, death and life, ice and storm. I don't know. Not really sure. But this is like our one preview of what it actually looks like. And you also polymorph, it looks like. So, the match ends when one team reaches 100 points or the timer expires, okay? So you polymorph into a variety of different beast forms, join a team, and battle other wizards in a match. And then each one has different sets of spells and stats, okay? Like the decathlon, your wizard level stats and items don't matter, yeah. So, it's kind of like the decathlon in terms of everything is like an even playing field, sort of. And that's kind of the point. You can level up your level and tier in the beast form. I wonder how many of these there are. They just use the polymorphs. But, so you can level that up to get better at the event. And uh, the tier will take longer to improve, but you'll be able to keep it. And you'll be able to actually like level it up and use it later. So that's cool. But they added a, uh, oh, also in the patch that went live today on live servers for Wizard 101, they removed the ability to use that secret emote that I did in a, you know, a video a while back. That is gone. Maybe because that is the emote that's right here. I don't know. But there's a new emote that you can get from doing this. New pet jewels. New beast form. And you, oh, permanent beast form upgrades? Oh, upgrades. I thought it was unlock. I was like, what? Beast moon robe. Okay. Hopefully I don't call this beast man because there's the beast man fight club. This one's beast moon. But so there's unique rewards for this and stuff like that including like garden rewards, all that. So pretty cool. Obviously they're adding more decathlons. They're adding balance myth, life storm decathlon, and they're testing all of them in this test realm. So look out for that. They said they're only running them uh, one day at a time. So we'll see how many people actually do this. I don't even know if I'm going to be doing it. I might just wait until live realm to do these, but I'm more interested in this. I want to show the beast moon hunt because I feel like that'd be super interesting to try it. Uh, decathlon, I'm not going to worry about doing the decathlon on test realm, so. But keep in mind that they are going to be adding these eventually to live servers. I just need to test all these. But Spiral Showcase is another new thing. Do you like training pets, fishing, helping others? Weeks where we don't have a decathlon or beast moon hunt event running will have this available to earn points and rewards. Likely for activities you participate in already. So it's something that you do to get rewards, like fishing or whatever. So I guess they're adding just more, I don't know, incentive to play things, do things in the game, which is specific to different like categories. Like maybe gardening is gardening in here. Then I could harvest my entire, um, <laughs> plot of couch potatoes or evil magma peas and get the task done. So that's what the spiral showcase is. Uh, scroll of fortune. What would you say about getting extra rewards for things you do? Isn't that what the other one is? Well, we'll soon be introducing a new feature with some nifty rewards, the seasonal scroll of fortune. You can find it at the top of the new events page. I don't even know where this events page is. Some rewards are available for everyone to earn directly, and other premium rewards can be accessed with the purchase of the Scroll of Fortune. I don't think the Scroll of Fortune is in the test room yet. I'm not sure where you get these or where this events page is, but yeah. I don't know. I am not going to worry about that until I actually see it or they talk about it more because I don't know where that is. But this is the test room. Honestly, the only like real content that I want to show you guys is Crab Alley and this first time user experience in Unicorn Way. Then I'm just gonna wait until they put out the Beast Moon Hunt and not, I don't care about the Decathlon and then maybe these two things or something, but this test room isn't crazy in terms of the content. I'm hoping that the events are good and that'll kind of carry the test room a little bit more, but these aren't even out yet, so I have no idea what they're gonna be like, but at least we got Crab Alley. Like that was one thing I was for sure certain they're gonna put into this test room. And other than that, though, I mean, nothing nothing too crazy. Like, they're, you know, updating Wizard City a little bit, e even more. We got Crab Alley and this, so that's good. But I'm really hoping that the events are good. The events are going to have to carry this test drum. I'm hoping the events are great and they're worth it. 
it seems like they could be worth it just judging by some of these unlocks that you can get like these exclusive things but we'll have to wait and see so next video is going to be crab alley expect that uh really soon and uh yeah other than that i will see you guys in test room uh probably only a couple videos out of this test room until they come out with that event but i mean that's just how it is i'm kind of still hoping on fire decathlon on live servers i don't know when that's happening but Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you were excited for this test run, please leave a like on it. Subscribe if you have it for all the test run videos that I'm going to be posting in the future so that you get the notification. And you can click the bell icon if you want to get notifications. So thank you guys so much. I'll see you all next time.